Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Inflation decreases your savings. How so? Each year inflation rises at 2%. Now for those of you just putting tons and tons of money away in your savings account, that is great. But I always tell you that 369 and 12 rule of having that money to cover all your bills for your savings. This is why you need to invest. There's one particular reason, inflation. Savings do not match or increases your buying power, your purchasing power. What am I actually talking about here? So if each year inflation rises 2% and you have your money, let's say for instance, in a high yield savings at 1.05 or even 1.30 APY, inflation is at still 2%. You are losing your purchasing power. What actually affects inflation? Supply and demand. So every year, most prices go up because the supply goes down and the demand for it goes up. Now, anytime you see a decrease in price, that means that the demand has went down, but they still have a heavy supply. Let me give you another example. If you bought groceries, let's say you had $100, you went to your local grocery store, you bought your groceries up to $100, not on sale, not on discount, you made that list. That exact same amount of food, that exact same price that you paid, that you purchased the very next year, the price of it would have went up or will go up because of inflation. That means that the amount of food that you did buy last year at $100, that will slightly decrease some because inflation. Inflation is based upon the market, the market of consumers and the economical services that people provide. Let's say, for instance, the two major reasons for inflation is that supply and demand and that now a particular product costs more money to make because of natural resources, minerals, and other things that contribute to that price. How do you offset? How do you combat inflation? Very easy. You invest. In my opinion, the ones I've always been preaching is Acorns, Stash, and also Robinhood, your individual stocks. Now, for you beginners out there, you say you don't have the time. Yes, you do. You have time for your shows. You have time to go out and party. You have time to do this. You have time to do everything except think about your future. So let's take, for instance, Stash. I'm going to show you some really quick clips here about my Stash account that I just made just a couple of months ago when I really started hitting Stash hard. So taking a look here at my Stash account, like I said, that I actually made only a couple of months ago. I want you to look at now, these days are in order except for the last one. I think it's a couple of days, just two. But here's the first one. I want you to look at the total return and then the total return percentage, that 2.20. Now, my next auto stash is not till June 1st. So I'm, money is not hitting this account until June 1st. Here's the next one. Now look at the percentage. The money went up $754 and it was at... $748. I made that much money in one day. And look at the percentage, 3.06. And in reference to yesterday, 2.20. Okay. So let's stay track here. Moving right along. The next one, $755. Yesterday, it was $754.38. Now, $755.80. And also the percentage went up. 3.25. And if you also looking at the return right here, you're seeing that I'm making money. Let's just go back really quickly here. The total return, 22.38. Let me go up one. And 23.80. I am making money every single day. The money from my auto stash hasn't even hit my account and I'm making tremendous money. Next day. Now, this is a two-day stint here. $761.24. Look at the total return. I'm already up at a 4%, 3.99 at a 4%. And look at the total return here, 29.24. Now, in reference, let's say this is one, two, three, and five day stint. $748 to $761. You do the math. I made money. I don't have my money sitting just around not making money. My money is truly making money. So now you see that how Stash have all set it, my inflation rate. So my purchasing power, if it keeps going the way it is, it's up 2%. Now you saw the 3.99. That means if you're just saving your money, your purchasing power, your buying power is now at a negative 2%. And this is another thing. Do not think about money market savings account. 
And don't think about your highly active managed mutual funds that has all those associated fees. Now with Stash, they mainly deal with ETFs, where we talked about those extreme traded funds, and also your index funds, mostly by Vanguard. So you have to get into these things to understand how inflation is killing your savings, how inflation is increasing your savings. You have to understand that your purchasing power, just because you don't see it, okay, just because you don't see it does not mean it's not happening. So I want you to take all these things to an account. If you have 15 minutes a day, which I know you do because you come home, you watch a TV show, you're playing basketball, you're going shopping, you're getting your hair done, you've done all these things for yourself, but you're not doing the one major thing that's going to be for yourself and also for your family. And that's take the time to learn a little about investing, okay? Investing. This is the only way to beat the giant of inflation, okay? So the U.S. Federal Reserve, they're tracking inflation at 2% per year, and it may even go up to 3%. So you're thinking, okay, in the next two to five years, say high yield savings account are actually going to be at 2%. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. If that occurs, if you can find like regular banks, Bank of America, Chase, all these big banks, if they actually raise their high yield savings to 2%, inflation would be at 3%. So the only real way to offset inflation is by investing. And I have videos on my channel for you guys to really dig into. So just take some time or research it yourself. I don't care, but get yourself right and beat inflation. This is the only way, guys. If you can find a better way, then let me know. This is Ross World where I use multitude of apps, multitudes of ways to beat inflation and still making me money. Now it's time for you to make money. I'm out.